Brock Purdy and Debo Samuel were sitting next to each other at the Warriors game last night. Yeah. This was great. Uh, what was your first thought when you saw that? I thought it was interesting. I know that Debo is really good friends with Trey Lance, so I thought that that was interesting to see him there with Purdy. I did notice that after the the photo op, though, I was watching the game. They weren't sitting by each other for most of that game, it appeared. Uh, they, they were in that photo op, but I saw Debo went and sat next to some somebody else, at least for – a good period of time. Yeah, that's cool to see them out there. And they kind of, I wonder if the 49ers and Warriors are like working together to get them these seats. And if this is kind of like a, a PR promotional. Yeah. 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 I wonder if that's what this is. <clears throat> well, first thing that went through my mind was, boy, that was really smart of Brock Purdy. Like he's trying not to come on too strong because it's not his team, but now he's sitting courtside with Debo and it makes it seem like this is, I feel like the kind of thing that Steve Young had to do when he was taking the team over from Joe Montana. Like you got to get Jerry Rice on your side. You got to get the, the team on your side. And right now he's hot. And all of a sudden it's like, Hey, you want to go to the Warriors game? It's, it's just a good look. Just like putting Christmas cards in everyone's locker is a good look. It's like, this is my team in the most respectful way possible. Yeah. This is my team. And now I'm taking Debo out and we're going to take pictures. And the other thing that went through my head was I don't remember Debo and Jimmy ever doing that. I could be wrong, but I can't remember those two ever like making a, a public appearance together one-on-one, uh, -on -one, which maybe they did. But if they didn't, that to me would be missed opportunity for Jimmy. <laughs> hey, I know the quarterback, you know? I think he was at a Warriors game with Trey this year. Um, yeah. So, so, yeah, Trey's done it. Uh, Brock has now done it. No Jimmy. Well, I think, did we see Jimmy? I think we might have Maybe. seen him at a Warriors game. Brock is politicking. That's the main point. Yeah. And he's doing a damn good job because <laughs> yeah. part of it is, I mean, part of it's playing well, but the other part is like actually leading and, and showing that you're the, the leader of the team, right? The way that, uh, you know, Zach Wilson yeah. couldn't and a lot of quarterbacks. Baker Mayfield has, has struggled to do. This guy's not struggling with that. He's like, the, he's, he's like, He's like the class president. He's like yeah. he's running for class president right now and winning. Shout out to Jerry. I think we we grew up together for sure in Benicia, but I think we played baseball as like little kids together on the team too. So that shout out to Jerry. It just he says called. Grant, it actually is his team right now. Right now it is. Mm -hmm. But he's, it seems like he's trying to make it his team like permanently. And this I like the moves that he's making. I appreciate it. So, Brock, they, that was smart. There's been 49ers at all these uh, big Warrior games, like the primetime games. It seems like it's almost like a – like a relationship between the Warriors and the Niners, and they're putting them there on purpose. Also, Warriors games are becoming really glamorous. It's like Laker games when we were kids, you know? It's yeah. like the Lakers suck, and this is the, the best team on the West Coast. And if you want to get, you know, seen courtside, probably go to a Warrior game in uh, <laughs> yeah. San Francisco, which is yeah. – He's 40 always there. He yeah. is always there. He, he doesn't miss an opportunity. He's the hardest-working rapper of all time, E-40. Yeah, he's a hustler. Remember, about a month ago, someone asked us who's the, the greatest rap group of all time. I don't know how I did. The answer is NWA. I'm so sorry. I, I like Most people just kind of forget about the 80s like it didn't happen because, yeah. I don't know. It's obviously NWA. I mean, every rap group that came after them was sort of channeling them to a, to an extent. Yeah, they I paved mean, the way. Yeah. 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 Ice Cube, Easy, e Dr. Dre, uh, yeah. DJ Yella, MC Ren. I just named them all. I'm so proud of myself.